Okay, so we have a, this is the next question that we have on the menu today, and it is asking us to find the measure of each angle indicated, and we have to round our answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, not nothing to be worried about. Let's look at our first triangle here. Got a right angle triangle, and here we have this length of 11, this is 16, and we're looking for this angle here. Okay, so as we can see here, this is going to be the opposite, and this is the hypotenuse. So if we wanted to find the angle, we can think back to Sokotoa, and we know that sine of the angle is going to be equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, and in this case, 11 divided by 16. And if we wanted to find theta, well, we just do the inverse sine, arc sine, as it's also sometimes called. And um, let's uh, ask our calculator that ASAP fast. Let's set inverse sine 11 divided 16. Result of that calculation 43.43 degrees. Oh, it said round to the nearest tenth, so it's just going to be 43.4. Degrees. Okay, so that would address uh, part one, 43.4, awesome. Okay, so we will follow a similar procedure as we um, look to number two. So here we have 2.4. Down here we got eight. Right angle triangle, and we're looking for this angle right here. So here we have the opposite to the angle. Here we have adjacent to the angle. Now, if we want to think back to our Sokotoa, we know that tan is going to be related to opposite and adjacent. So let's put set it up. Tan theta is equal to op over adjacent. Our opposite, in this case, 2.4 divided by 8 for adjacent. So if we want to get the angle, we take the inverse tan of 2.4 over 8. And let's ask our calculator that real fast. 2.4 divided by 8. And my calculation for this, 16.7 degrees. If we round it to the nearest 10. Okay, hopefully we got the same answer down here. 16.7, awesome. Okay, so um, we got two down, three left to go. So let's uh, keep it moving here. We got question three which has this triangle. So here we have, we got 13 on the hypotenuse. The angle is here. That's hypotenuse. And here we have um, four on the opposite. Okay, another sine situation. Actually, we can just set this up because we know that we have, we're going to have to do the inverse sine. This is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, 4 over 13. Okay, let's find this out real fast. Inverse sine, 4 divide 13. My answer was 17.9 degrees. Okay, fair, nice and straightforward, 17.9. Hopefully we got the same thing here, awesome. Okay, so that was number three, pretty fast. Now number four, we can also go through that a little bit more quickly now that we're more familiar with this type of procedure. So here we have this triangle, we got seven. We have 15. Here is the angle, so this is going to be the opposite. And here will be the adjacent. Okay, so to find the angle, we know that we're going to need inverse tan because tan is who's related to opposite and adjacent. Inverse tan of opposite over adjacent, 15 over 7. I expect something that's going to be bigger than 45 but less than 90. So let's figure that out. Tan, 15 divide 7 or inverse tan, 15 divided 7, and I got 64 degrees. So that is, or 64 point, 65 point oh degrees. Uh, it was 64.98, but rounding it up, 65 degrees. Hopefully we came to the same conclusion down here. Yep, awesome. 
And the last one, um, the last one is a triangle that looks like this. So our angle is here, that's our theta. Our, we have a hypotenuse and that's 15. And here we have a adjacent length of 11. So adjacent and hypotenuse are related through cosine. So we will need to do our inverse cos to get the angle. So it's going to be adjacent 11 over 15. Okay, so let's find that angle, inverse cos, 11 over 15. And this is 42.8 degrees. So hopefully we came to the same answer down here, 48.2. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. So um, yeah, this is the general procedure, the power of Sokotoa and right angle triangle trigonometry. We could find all of the angles. Okay, and rounding them to the proper number of digits also important, but otherwise, uh, this solution is good. Good job. Nice. High five.